threw me off is what I actually like about this fragrance. On my nose, I thought, oh, this is the booziest red berries, your cacao day. Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're on this channel for the first time, we do a lot of fragrance reviews, but I do throw in some lifestyle content and fashion content as well. So if that sounds like something you may be interested in, please do consider subscribing either now, in between, or after watching this video. I would appreciate you becoming part of the family. And to those who are returning, thank you so much guys for the support. I appreciate you as always. Kindly give me a follow on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles Day. Now, welcome to the top 13 Latafas of 2022 within my collection. These are fragrances that I purchased in the year 2022. Uh, I think all of them were actually 2022 releases. And in my opinion, I think these are the best. But obviously, there's going to be a lot more because I don't have the entire Latafa collection that was released in 2022. And let me say, this is not a paid promotion. These are just my recommendations of the fragrances from Latafa that were released in the year 2022. And I feel these will not disappoint now the first one is going to be camera i know guys this sounds like a broken record on my channel as well as an, on, a, on a lot of other people's channels um this is your sweet cinnamon scent it's spicy it's woody and i think it's actually the most ideal scent for this season i mean if you believe in christmas and all that uh this is probably going to be a fragrance that i would even recommend to wear around this season i know christmas is come and gone it is one fragrance that i would say latafa outdid themselves in the year 2022 uh, camera now the second one uh, that i found very lovely is shot um this is going to be your ultra feminine uh, fragrance unless you are a male and you love uh, female fragrances latafa shard is your crisp refined almost sharp but sweet uh, scent i love the sharpness in here that it doesn't turn this into like a headachey kind of scent it's your fruity floral that is so gorgeous gorgeous and very uh, feminine in the same vein as Narciso Rodriguez's Ombre. I think this is Latafa's take on that and I feel they actually outdid themselves on this particular one. So Shard is one I had to include in this list. Now the third uh, fragrance that I, I have been gravitating towards these days. When I got this guys, I know you did see, uh, if you watched the review, I did, you know, kind of complain because it threw me off i sprayed it in the store uh, and waited for about 20 minutes and after that i started to smell of baccarat and i was like oh, not another baccarat uh but what threw me off is what i actually like about this fragrance this is going to be like your your masculine take on um on what feels like a fusion of baccarat rouge 540 and uh Kalan by parfums de mali so i do like it and in as much as i'm saying it's a masculine take uh ladies don't run away from this you know me I always say I don't like uh, fragrances that turn super masculine. This one doesn't. It's a beautiful twist on Baccarat and Kalan. It feels like a fusion of both. This is uh, the off their Latafa Pride collection. Uh, the blue one leans more fresher. I will try and, and bring the blue one here or at least the tester. But this is my number three for this list and it's a Royal Sapphire. Next up guys is going to be Wazir. But I'm going to say this offset. If you are not accustomed to fragrances fragrances that smell niche you know how fragrances are being done if you love the niche fragrances this does not smell like your uh you your uh traditional fragrances or the designer fragrances or some of these fragrances that are common this has like a uniqueness to it it is almost sweet and creamy it also has like a caramel feel to it a little bit of some booziness there another gender neutral one here um so yeah this this was one that when i put my nose on i just liked immediately Al noble was here and this is the fourth one here number five is another boozy one um this guys you can cross reference with my extensive review because i did do a full review of mohra um this has made me check different stores online almost every day because i am desperately looking for the silky uh, rose version this is not masculine uh, like ultra masculine so don't let the bottle fool you uh, this is just your beautiful like a boozy plum um and it feels as though it has some rum when i smelled this for the first time 
on my nose i thought oh, this is the booziest fragrance i think latafa has made thus far uh, or at least this year um and i see this ticking the boxes for many but again i have to say this is also not your traditional kind of scent it comes across as a bit dense and a bit licorice so if that if you like that kind of uh, uh scent profile you might love this i can see other people saying oh this is going to be ideal for night times or for winter but i wear this in the blazing heat and i've got no problem whatsoever so i love latafa mora and i had to put it here guys as one of the nicest latafas that i've smelled or the nicest releases from latafa for the year 2022 next one is a new fragrance in my collection i think i have posted the review of this one and then this top 13 unless i do vice versa i don't know mahajan silver okay i know this is probably not going to be a favorite for many people reason being this is a very watered uh, down citrus it's a very light fragrance which is completely the opposite of what latafa is known for um it is of course a uh, uh um silver mountain a creature silver mountain uh water dupe and i think if you've used that original or you smelt it you will know that it is also on the like watered down side i went on to say in my review that i feel this one goes a step further in being so light so if you are one of those people that don't like your fragrance to make a statement to do the talking you just want to know that you're smelling fresh this is definitely a recommendation and i had to put it here because it's not your typical latafa like oh they have put the spices or whatever no this is going to be your freshy. It's going to give you like soapy vibes. It's going to give you out of the shower vibes. So I had to include Mahashan Silver as one of the creations by Latafa that I do appreciate for this year. Number seven, another one that I did rave about a lot. This has kind of taken a back seat because uh, this part of the world, we are like experiencing like a warmer season. This works a lot nicer uh, in semi cold weather not in the like winter but you just have to have like a certain breeze around you to pull this off uh nebras gold is your red berries your cacao day i can see a lot of people not even being able to pick the rose after that because the cacao is like in your face and then it has like like, like an embery feel to it um another chocolatey kind of gourmand fragrance that i would recommend with my eyes closed completely the opposite of uh its partner which is the silver one this one leans maybe 65 percent feminine and 35 percent uh uh for the males out there uh because of that uh, forward chocolate but if you don't mind smelling like chocolate and you're a gentleman this is probably going to tick your boxes so guys when i bought this one i just thought wow this is a must next up here guys is going to be sato okay uh the only reason why this one is still uh there's still plenty here is this is one that if i want peach if i want to smell like peach i will spray this one um will i declutter this i don't see myself decluttering it because it's a beautiful uh take on uh, tom ford's bitter peach it leans more masculine and i feel it's it bitter peach in itself has decent lasting power to me but i think this one takes it a step a step further so if you're looking for that alternative with like a masculine uh a twist to it something that feels like ver ver there then uh, this one is probably going to tick your boxes latafa sato one that i loved a lot for this year was aura uh, i love the bottle i love the smell of this fragrance i love how soft it is uh, but also having like a decent staying power so this is going to be your soft but stubborn scent uh this aura and i did say in the review that uh, it feels to me a lot refined than the other attempts they've done on uh, 540. So if you love that 540 scent profile, you may want to check out this. This uh, unfortunately comes in, in uh, I think this is a 60 ml, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. It doesn't say at the bottom, but I think I remember seeing this as a 60 ml. Uh, the bottle looks gigantic, but you can see they have played around with like half of it being glass and then uh, the, the top part being uh, uh, um, where they've put the fragrance so this is a 60 ml i love this fragrance i love how it smells it's my go-to it just smells expensive posh everything good is in here number 10 i have here and guys i did bring this fragrance um i think i did a, a snippet on uh, the latafas that i decluttered and why and i did say that this one is kind of like on the fence amir al oud intense is on the fence with me in terms of i don't see myself reaching out for it that much because 
I come from a very hot climate and it is super, super smoky, but I need to give credit where it's due. I think Latafa outdid themselves. This is a by the fireplace dupe and there's a reason why by the fireplace by Maison Magella is, you know, uh, popular in the first place. But this, this is your smoky vanilla. So if you love woodsy scents, um, if you love uh, saffron if you want a scent that's gonna work for you in winter a uh, vanilla forward a little bit sweet but with a lot of smokiness there then this is gonna do it for you or basically if you just love smoky fragrances amir al oud is gonna do it for you i purchased this one this year and i thought i should you know bring it here it might be on the fence for me uh, but i feel this is a well crafted fragrance number 11 i do not have in full size although i did bring it in full size here is this one uh eternal oud is uh latafa's grand soir uh version or at least the the, the their take on grand soir by mfk um eternal oud guys is your soft it's not as soft as mahajan the one that i was talking about earlier but eternal oud has got your grapefruit there and it's soft um, I personally returned mine to the store because I had like a box full of the taffas. Uh, so I returned mine to the store, um, but it's probably going to come back. It's just that I haven't finished this tester. So I thought, okay, there's plenty here that I can work with. This is one guys that I know is the most popular from their Latafa Pride collection and is popular for a reason. Another one that's gender neutral, men and women can wear this. It doesn't pull masculine or feminine. It is right there in the middle. Another recommendation from their Latafa Pride is going to be this one, Al Kaim uh, Silver. I have spoken a lot about this Al Kaim Silver. It's their take, of course, on Buvari uh, Tiger. And if you know that fragrance, you will know that that's a beautiful beautiful uh, fragrance this is gorgeous it is your fresh um, crisp also has a ginger there um, it's fresh and crisp and gorgeous in a nutshell uh, this is one that I would recommend anytime any day I like Al Kaim uh, so now last but not least of the 13 Latafas of 2022 that was so impressive to my nose and I think they are the best in my collection this year and moving forward is going to be a one a one from again the Latafa Pride collection guys this is your citrus like no other it gives me a concentrated almost realistic orange feel um it has the bergamot there but it is your sweet orange scent the orange here feels honeyed um it does not feel uh, uh, crisp it feels honeyed and quite sweet but not too much uh, so it is a combination of what feels like a thick orange and some orange blossom there beautiful citrus that manages to hold on a uh, one feels a little bit like uh Bayredo's sun dazed but with some twists there so if you put your nose on sun dazed then um you know this one if you purchase this one and you like sun, sun dazed it kind of like is in the same fragrance family but i'm not saying it's a dupe that's my top 18 Latafa fragrance finds of the year 2022 so i thought to give it a wrap since we are you know uh, uh closing uh year 2022 we're about to end the year so i thought to give you uh, a summary of the ones that i would say are the best uh that i discovered in the year 2022 i'm probably going to do a top 10 for you sometime uh next year i would recommend this with my eyes closed the only one that i just had to put like a quotation on is mahajan silver if you love your fragrances beastly that one might not work for you see chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let me in the comment section let me know what you think about the latafa releases of the year 2022 turn on post notifications as well that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video i hope you have subscribed if not why not thank you so much for joining me and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers